night and welcome back to another video it is currently 4 30 in the morning while i'm making this uh this is the flowers to put in the basket so um one way to start out this hair is by getting up your colored paper i for the inside of the flower you can use any color brown black or green i use brown in this video some I use black and some green. Uh, for this, you cut it to the appropriate size that you want. Uh, just make sure that it's long. The longer the better, the less you would need. So um, you then fold it in half after you've gotten an appropriate size. And as you fold it in half, uh, you cut it. You do not cut right through, but you just make little frills on it. And um, you continue doing this until the entire paper has frills on them. You can fold your paper in half to make the frills, or you can um, just leave it long and make the frills. I find it faster to just fold it in half and make it, and sometimes I would double it to make the frills and then take them apart. Whatever floats your boat, you can do so. Uh, then you start rolling it. So you use something to put in the middle to roll it because you want a little space there for when you're ready to make the stem so you can easily push it in. So um, just you can use anything to make the hole. Just make sure it's not too big. You don't want it to be that noticeable. And, um, when you're finished with this hair, it's time to make your flower, the outer part of your flower. Um, for this hair, you can do it however you want. I didn't really use paste until it came to the very end. You can use paste right through. It's up to you. And, um, again, I'm listening to scary stories as always. And something that kept freaking me out would be the um I'm pretty sure this is too loud now. So there are these beetles that keep flying into the lights and into the wall and it's right where I am and I don't really like it. I hate it a lot and I'm quite surprised that there's so many now because I haven't seen them around in a while but now they're just so much. Anyway, so um, time to cut out your flowers. You um, get your strips of paper and you fold it up, as you can see in the video there. This is a bit important. You can fold it to this side. You can make it a double or just a single one. I use double. You cut out a little U-shaped thing. And that's going to actually be your pet. You can fold it much smaller than this if you want a smaller flower or you can do it much bigger if you want a bigger flower but I did mine a bit small and then uh, you can use whatever color you want. Now I made two different types of the flower. I made um, one of them a bit more opened up and that one is the latter flower this one here you don't need to carve the carve the flower petals first you just roll it and put it on but the second one you're gonna see what i'm doing anyway in my last video i was telling you about a um, creature called a canima or a sorry a canima box and um, that's a creature that basically can shapeshift into any animal and why they're called can I'm a bug they're bug people well that's me do not call them that they're Amerindian people or what most people know them as Native American or indigenous people they have the power to shapeshift into any animal they want and a story I know about this was um, told to me by a teacher where we where she said her husband used to go hunting and one time he and his friends they went into the forest to do some hunting and uh, they saw this 
big snake, a really, really huge snake in the tree. And uh, they were about to shoot it when one of the local men came out and he started crying, No, no, don't shoot it. Please don't shoot my son. They didn't believe that that was his son at first. So they opened fire at it. And a few minutes later, uh, they saw the snake start to retract until they said that there was a little boy laid there on the ground. So that's one of the stories that I know about this. Another one is with a deer. I was told to me by my friend that when you're going up like there's this pond that's always filled with these blue butterflies. Um, oh, and there's also some monarchy butterflies there. Do you remember the name of that one? So, wait, I think they're, the blue butterflies are the monarchy butterflies. Yeah, I think that's what they are. They're, the blue butterflies are the monarchy butterflies. Anyway, uh, so they were filled with them and they were so vibrant and beautiful. And for this, I <laughs> the video. Um, the the lovely little sunflower um i completely lost track of what i was saying and didn't even mention this part where you need to take the scissors and just pull it anyone who's ever done bows and stuff rock christmas gift you'd know what to do uh, just look at that idea. do not pull it off anyway i'm back to the story um so <laughs> I completely lost track about what I was saying with um I was telling you a story about can I move back? I lost track about what I was saying. I'm sleepy by the way. Uh, maybe in another video I'll be able to continue the story. Sometimes I forget what which one I was telling about or just so many but i can't remember i i'm just gonna lose track maybe i can say one in each video one scary story um one of the scariest one from my school was um when we walked past the school there was a little space between the ground and the um the mud the mud and the flooring of the school that we could see under and some of us could actually go under there you could crawl under there it had quite a good enough space it still has that space by the way but um the problem is that we used to scare each other we used to tell each other that there's a mermaid there oh uh the making the stem part so stem part you cut your pieces of paper up and then you just roll them um, uh, in a bit of a slant way you can have these paper green and paint it easier because it's out of any other green paper um, you can just roll them up and then you can stick them into the flower and um, that's what the hole was for if you know the top of it is too thin then you just fold it a bit and then stick it in and that's how you're gonna get it to stay a bit uh, you don't need to paste it i didn't paste mine but um you can just paste yours i made some more flowers earlier obviously and this video is coming to an end but again back to the scary mermaid under the school it's the scary chat about the mermaid under the school Anyway, as this video is coming to an end, I hope you enjoy this video, enjoy your time in quarantine, stay safe, enjoy the rest of your time, have fun, bye and just have fun.